Hello all, it's been a while, um, so I should actually get back into making making YouTube videos that might be of use to somebody. Um, silage season has started back up in 2020, in the, in the midst of a global pandemic. The first trip out, and this is the controller for the 10X Harvester. It basically sets forward and inverse and pick up reel, but the, the one that's most used obviously is this, um, which operates the chute. For directing the grass into the trailer so obviously a mechanical issue where somebody broke the the switch so i'm just going to have a have a look inside this and see that what we have to do to repair i don't think we're going to repair the switch because of the there's actually a lump of metal inside that. I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a lump of metal and, and metal's broke as well. So delicate, delicate, delicate farmer hands have So, those switches appear to be a simple panel mount. So there's two boards. This top board just basically holds the switches. Let's see if I've got a screwdriver that will fit this. Oh, this will do. This is um, a simple joystick with four micro switches, but I'm not sure that we'll be able to get a replacement part because this. Uh, the 10X, the Tarup 10X is from the early 90s, I think. So I'm sure it's 30 years old. It probably classes as vintage and a lot of the parts that were used will be um, have been phased out, replaced. I haven't said that. So it's quite a simple relationship uh, arrangement, really, but. The micro switches are by the 
micro switches are by O-T-E-H-A-L-L. O-T-E-H, never heard of them. That hole in the PCB is about, hold on a minute, I'll try and focus here. Yeah. It's a bit better. It's about 42, 43 millimeters. I'm gonna try and find a replacement. I'll, I'll <coughs> stitch this video together and parts because I'll try and get the replacement switch. I don't think I'll find the actual switch but I'll have a look and see if we can get a replacement otherwise we'll, we'll try and find something that will we can rig into the hole. Worst case scenario we just lay out another PCB with this these two pin headers I mean, it's basically simple. Look, you can see the number of tracks. There's not many tracks on it. It's just four micro switches. And then one stop button, according to the front panel. So yeah, one stop button and one LED. I just had a thought, before I desolder these micro switches, I should um, just buzz them out so that we know what's what in terms of the circuitry. Now, there's a ground plane Well, I don't know whether it's a ground plane, but there's a copper pour on this PCB. We'll assume it's ground. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but we'll assume it's ground. So, so the four switches each has a connection to the ground plane, and the ground plane is connected. So ground plane's on that pin, on that connector. Um, so if I flip this over, it might be easier. That's this connector. So we trace the other connection One, two are connected to the switch. So three, four, five are connected to Right, so three, four, five, three seem to be connected to, I suppose the pin orientation is gonna matter here what where we're counting from. 
but if I can watch the video again and see. Um, if I just click that micro switch. So right connected to three. Left is on four. We'll call it down to us is five. And up is six. I desoldered the micro switches out of the PCB. Sorry. And managed to get a replacement part which is it's different. It's very close to the size that would actually fit into that hole but the, the it's meant to be secure well if you look at the data sheet for this a lot of them are secured by these um, the holes in the corners but some of them are some of them are this type here the bush mount installation so this is a V4 with the bush mount installation, but it also obviously still has those holes. Um, and this one is, I have a pen here. I can just give you a part number. This is by APEM. And it is the 1D1 5 f 15 7 So that's the part number on that. It's got a completely different uh, knob on the top but who cares so the difference is that I, I I really want to get rid of those curved areas on the corner try and fit this properly into this hole the other difference is that the, the previous micro switch had, had two connect oh no they had three I thought for some reason they had two these connectors are going to be in a different position so it's going to be a challenge to solder maybe but first things first try and get rid of the corners now to that end I might open this and get rid of the micro switches so I can I'm probably grind off file off those corners I don't have an angle grinder, but it'll file off those corners or something. So there's... I wonder could I replace the micro switches with these previous micro switches to make soldering there shouldn't be much difference in it oh no it's the other side it's that side uh, first things first I'll just pull these micro switches
and screw this back together. So. This is not going to be returned. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to make a mess of this. So. I will cross the <coughs> will cross the bridge of soldering it back in. When we get to that point, it does actually fit the. I'm very lucky in that it it's it it will probably fit the hole when I get the corners. Get rid of the corners, and it fits through the. The only problem is going to be now the distance between this, that lip between the top of the, the switch which is resting against this front plate. Um, we'll cross that bridge when we get the corners off it. Right, you might not be able to see this too clearly but the, the corners have been cut off. Maybe I'll clear that so you can see that the switch number. Um, and that now fits perfectly into that the hole. So our next problem is going to be micro switches and getting them into a position where we can solder it to PCB. Sorry, hold on. Take this to pieces again. Too tight, but that's so now having done that. If I take this and split it, that one's off. micro switches sorry hit my The lugs of the micro switch, or the sorry, the connectors of the micro switch is just going to clash. With the PCB. I 
Let's just bend them out of the way. Give me a minute, I'll go and get some tools. Another thing about these micro switches. is there's three connectors there one's normally open one's normally closed and the other is common so we want the normally open we could actually get rid of the normally closed So it's, it doesn't get in the way of soldering and so that's normally normally closed, normally open. So I could actually get rid of this. That's fitting. They all have to fit one way or other way, it doesn't really matter. pointing but they all have to face the one way Sweet. That kind of matches up to the the solder. I'll do the same with the rest of these. Get rid of the one that's closed. Sorry to keep drifting off camera. A bit of solder in my way there.
but I think it's good. I'll pause it there and come back to you when I've got those. Four micro switches into a position to put that pack together again. I've basically removed the normally closed connection, bent over the common and the normally open and just soldered this piece of wire on because the pins didn't line up, the pins don't line up with these um, the eight solder points on the PCB so basically drop this through I'm going to put a piece of insulation tape around the edge I'll do that now just so you can see because we don't want we don't want these connections shorting out on the, the PCB so if there's if there's any contact there that short things out it, it would cause a problem so we'll just take a, a bit of insulation tape So that should insulate those connections enough. So then it's a case of popping this through and soldering each of these wires then into the hole. And it doesn't really matter which hole but I'll try and put the green into the, the copper pore plane. Um, and before I do that I'll, I'll put this back together so it should be sitting somewhere close to Now, the problem is going to be that this side is actually physically soldered. There's a physical connection soldered between each of the micro switches and the PCB because this is going to be a wire bent over, trimmed and bent over into those holes. Um, it's going to kind of float. So, the switch is panel mounted onto the phrase plate but the PCB will be f the switch will be floating relative to the PCB with these wires but that shouldn't make a difference because everything should this gap should be more or less right and then when it slides into the case the grooves in the case mean that it should we'll see but it can float it can move about a bit be a bit of giving it but not much but I'll solder that up and see how we get on right that's done wires soldered or folded over and soldered so just a quick 
test we had these I think that was the ground so three was the right pin three was to the right am I getting that yep four is left five down six up that's us just check that's tight here Call that a wrap. So yeah, that's that's a bit of butchering of a switch to get basically to replace this. Now that switch that I put in this 1D15F1571 has a few things you can put in the back of it to limit the axis. So you could put that one to make it only go one direction, but I'll leave it as a, as a like flexible as it is and hopefully that does this solves the problem and gets them back on the road i leave it there thanks a million for watching